Uh, I don't know if I might want to uh, This is going to be a, a short instructional tutorial on how torrents work and how to use them. I'll tell you everything I know about torrents and maybe you might get something useful out of this. So, first, I'm going to use uh, a torrent client called BitTorrent to show you the demonstrations. So, first, let's get BitTorrent. Go to bittorrent.com. This might not work for me right now, it's going to be giving me some problems, but it should work for you most of the time. So go to bittorrent.com, click on get bittorrent, and come down here where it says free download. There's nothing special about the bittorrent plus, not that I know of. And click free download. And it worked for me that time. You clicked um, exe to install it, and you're on your way. Install bittorrent, make sure to not install ask toolbar, unless you really like that thing. Okay. Once you have BitTorrent installed, I already have it installed, I'm not going to show you that. We're going to go and get a torrent. The best place to get torrents that I know is the Pirate Bay. Let's go to the PirateBay.sc. Do a quick search, Google search for Pirate Bay, and end up here. Mm, let's do a quick one. Microsoft Office 2010. Do a pirate search. Okay. Here's some tips on finding the right torrent. First thing you want to do is look at the names, see what's the right torrent for you, and also the versions. But before all that, check on seeds. Over here it says SE and LE. That's seeds and leeches. You want more seeds, less leeches. So click on SE to organize it by seeds. And that gives us the top one over here. 6,000 seeds for Microsoft Office. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. And once we're here, to get the torrent, you're going to click on Get This Torrent. And this is assuming you already have BitTorrent installed. You need to have BitTorrent installed to do this. So click on Get This Torrent with the little magnet on the left of it. And then I'll launch this external protocol request. Uh, just click Launch Application. This will launch BitTorrent and its little window over here that tells you what you're downloading. So, right here, this is the location it's going to be downloaded to. These are the files that are going to be downloaded to in the little checkbox. How to download the files. Shows you the drive space you have and the file name. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Once you hit OK, the download will start. Uh, some downloads take a bit of time to catch up to speed. Uh, but this one should start up fairly fast due to the number of peers it has to reach us. The ratio appears to be just okay. So I'm going to show you that I'm going to guide you through this. We have the torrent that's being downloaded. It shows the file over here, the size of the file over here in that column. It shows the status, which is downloading, and the percent that is completed. It shows the speed that it's downloading at, and it shows the speed that it's uploading at. You're always uploading when you're downloading, and once you're done downloading, you're still uploading. You're seeding, basically, as a process of seeding. Uh, this is the estimated time to finish. This is the seeds ratio. Okay. Um, then on over here, below in info, you will see the time elapsed, the downloaded amount, the uploaded amount, and the remaining time. Estimated remaining time. The average download speed and the average upload speed. Okay. So over here in this green bars, over here, so downloaded and availability. This shows basically the availability of the file that you're downloading. Now, this number on the side, which you want to look at, is 71. That means that there's 71 versions of the same file, one complete versions, 100%. So let's say you're downloading Microsoft Office. There's people, there's 71 people with a complete file that can offer you the complete file. If this number is less than one, that means the complete file isn't available. And even if you wait all day, you'll only get to 99.9% .9 or whatever is available of the file and you won't be able to complete the torrent unless somebody, a seed that has 100% of the file starts seeding, then you could get the entire file. And you get to, with that, you get to peers. Over here your peers. You have peers, it shows the torrent client they're using and it shows what percent they've completed and what speed you're downloading from each peer and what speed you're uploading to each peer. Now, all of them at 100%. This is a good sign of a healthy torrent. 
if you have an unhealthy torrent, which I don't have a good example of right now, you would get seeds that aren't completed and it would be very difficult to download the complete file at a very slow speed. You usually see this with new video games that come out. Everyone jumps on it at the same time and you're basically stuck to like 1,000 seeds seeding like 6,000 leeches. So that's one seed for every six leeches. So one person uploading to six people. It's going to go very slow. I usually you want to just wait it out until there's more seeds to leeches. Well, it's the same thing if you're waiting to download or if you're waiting to start downloading. Waiting to completely download. Um, then we go to see the file. Here, if you have more than one file, you see the other files. And you could disable the download. Of you. you could set the priority to low, high, or normal. Or you could say don't download. Which will stop the file from downloading. You can have other files in the same torrent. This torrent only has one file, so you don't see all that other stuff. And this last tab over here is speed. This helps track your speed over time, graphs it for you, with the green line being the download, and the blue line being the upload. And now I'm not uploading any because nobody needs me to upload any to them. There's enough seats for everyone to go around. You can set the resolution by the time. The smaller time limit you set, the closer to your zoomed into the graph that you set to 5 minutes would be beyond. And you can see it. It's 30 seconds you see the load tip. Okay, that's all the fun stuff here. So I'm going to show you how to create a torrent before this one's finished. Okay, so let's minimize our browser and come up here. That's been downloaded to my desktop. We're going to come up here where it says file. Click on file and go down to create new torrent. Now I'm going to want to add a directory and not a, just a single file. Because a direct, the difference between directory and file is the directory is a folder that has files in it. The file is just a single file, like an ISO, like this one. So we're going to click on Add Directory. We're going to, I'm going to navigate to my desktop, and I'm going to choose a CSS for Gmail. And we're going to hit Select Folder, and that's set to directory. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of the settings down here. Click on Create and Save as, and we're going to save this to the desktop. As CSS for Gmail that torrent. That's the extension for the file. Let's save. And it's done making the torrent. And we're gonna close. Once it's done, it's gonna start seeding it immediately since that was one of the options set. And you can send this file, the CSS.gmod file, to any one of your friends to download. This is basically a, this is the torrent file that's about 15 kilobytes. So you can quickly send an email to them, Dropbox it, or send it through an IM. Some IMs let you send files. Or you could send it on the USB. Give it to them on the USB. Makes it much faster to get it sent. Now, this torrent actually has multiple files. So you can see it here. It has multiple files. And they're each is a different size. And they're all 100% completed. Because I was starting the torrent. So let's see. So I don't want to start one. And so I'm going to show this prematurely, but once you've completed the torrent download, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click it, and you're going to click on Open Contain Folder. This will open the folder that has the torrents uh, in it. Uh, well, every time you do this with BitTorrent, you're going to get a message, a warning message saying that there may be harmful malware on the file, so be careful. It says that for every single torrent. There's nothing special, there's no exceptions, it says that for everyone. So just disregard that and move on with your day. Okay. Um, yeah. And so, uh, also with this file, this torrent file, you can upload it to Pirate Bay and have other people downloading it from you. But you have to remember, since you created the file, you're the first and only seed. And if you can't seed it to more people, then the torrent will die. If you only seed 30% to one person and leave it there, that's not going anywhere. That one person will only have 30%. So you have to keep checking on your peers and make sure you have enough peers that have completed it before you stop seeding your own torrent, which you shouldn't. Okay, now it's completed because your bubble says torrent completed download. Okay, um, 
that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. This was just uh, instructional, more about information on torrents, and a lot more information than you really need to work on. Thank you for watching.